have recently run across this very interesting paper. Um, it is incredibly thorough, and actually it seems like it's something I could build. Uh, so a nano positioner allows for the incredibly precise movement of objects to like within the nanometer. Uh, normally it's pretty esoteric, expensive hardware. Um, I'll have, a, I'll put a link to this paper in the, uh, description below. So here's the images of them. These... These are actually quite small. Their footprint is only about one inch by one inch, um, 21 millimeters by 21 millimeters. So they're, 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 you know, that's a micro SD card in front of them. They're not very big at all. Uh, and they have an interesting feature in that they're not, they're able to not just move, uh, very tiny distances. They're also able to move larger distances. Uh, so this uh, graphic here shows how it works. Uh, PZT is a piezoelectric stack. So it's a piece of ceramic. When electricity is applied, it lengthens change his size. So this is connected to a linear slide with a magnet. And the magnet is glued to the uh, piezo actuator. And if it's fed with a uh, triangle wave, you can, as you can see here, it just, the magnet sticks to the slide and it just moves back and forth within very tiny distances. Now, what's very interesting is it has this long range mode where basically you apply a ramp. It's, it's a sawtooth wave, so it uses a ramp similar to the start of the wave here, which pushes the slide forward then the voltage is dropped very rapidly, which causes the uh, piezo to retract quickly, which makes the magnet slip. So the magnet ends up sliding against the linear slide instead of moving it. And so you, by, via this method, it is possible to basically ratchet the slide along. Um, it's still a small device, so I think the travel of the slide is only like 12 millimeters, but you're able to do larger scale movements. Um, so here's an image of uh, here's an image of the one of the horizontal axes. And so there's a connector, that's the piezo actuator, and there's the magnets. So basically, the piezo actuator is glued to the frame here, and then the magnets are glued to the actuator. So the, the magnets are, are able to move freely relative to this. Well, not freely, but they're, they're able to move relative to the body when moved by the actuator. And there's the slide. And there's a plate that mounts on top of the slide. Uh, so interestingly, for driving hardware, they've actually also published a design of their own. Um, you can see here, it lists the key components. Uh, there's a link, osf.io slash 7fk3u, that, to, the, um, to all the files. I will put that in the description as well. So, 
the parts that they used for the horizontal and vertical slide parts, uh, the, the actual frames of the device, were CNC machined. So I have recently just started using um, JLC PCB to make uh, custom printed circuit boards for me. And it's been absurdly inexpensive. Like, I, I opt for cheap shipping, and I've paid about $5 for five boards, including shipping. Well, I noticed that JLC has themselves a CNC machining service as well. Uh, so this led... So this led me uh, to, you know, try uploading, see about getting a quote for the metal base plate and including cheap shipping, the total charge, $13. Well, now, <laughs> I certainly couldn't make it for that price. Um don't think I could 3D print it for that price if you take any account into time involved. So I ordered it, and um, there's the production in progress. Uh, I think they're supposed to, they estimate they'll be done by the 23rd of August. So uh, we'll see when it arrives, how it looks. So the next step in components I need to acquire, so I'll scroll down here. So this is the list of components uh, where they also list their cost for the parts and where they sourced them from. So now that I got, the, I'm only building one axis right now. If I can make it function well, then I'm going to look at building the other two. Uh, so I'm going to, so I'm working right now on ordering this part right here, the actuator. Um, this That is this guy right here. Note the F, it's the thick coating variant. Um, and the price isn't too bad. It's about $27. So I'm working on, I'm organizing things to buy one. And basically like you would glue that to the frame and then the magnet would be glued there. Uh, so once I have the actuator, I'm going to have to see about getting the bearing, slide, um, screws are not a problem, magnetic, you know, magnets can get anywhere, the SMA can come, stuff from, can come from uh, DigiKey, I've got an Arduino, uh, and then i got to build the DAC board, which is uh, this guy here. Um, so I'm going to send, they've got, they've published the Gerber files in that file repository. So I'm going to send that off to, uh, probably going to have JLC PCB make that one as well. And, uh, yeah, so step one of building this, I am waiting for the arrival of the base plate. It's been CNC machined. And then I am going to be waiting uh, probably, I think sometime next week I might be able to buy the order the Pizzo uh, ceramic actuator. So I'm going to wait for that. When uh, As soon as I have an update, I will post another video showing where things are. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you find it interesting and uh, try to build one yourself because it's it's a really neat little device and 
it is absolutely within the reach of a hobbyist to build it. All of the information, including assembly instructions and the design files and everything is here. Uh, there's even like um, specific build instructions. So check it out. If you dig into it or you have any questions, give me a holler. Comment it down below. Have a nice day. Goodbye.